Hi, this is Monty Hipsch, the Google Guru, and today I want to chat with you about Google Analytics. Now, the first thing I want to say before I get into analytics and, and the information you can learn is that this is a must-have tool. After you have your website built, before you worry about search engine optimization, pay-per-click advertising, social media, mobile advertising, add Google Analytics. What would it be like if you had a car with no instruments? You had no petrol indicator when you're out of petrol. You had no speedometer. You don't know how fast you're going. You, you don't know whether the car is overheating. Google Analytics tells you where your visitors have come from, what they do on your site, where they are when they leave. This is information you must have. So the first thing you need to do after you get your website built, or if you currently have a website, is install Google Analytics. It's absolutely free, costs you nothing, and it gives you that instrument cluster in your car that tells you how it's performing. So, <clears throat> I'm showing you today Google Analytics, uh, the new version, version 5, which came out in 2011. Uh, the old version is here. I'm going to go through the new version because there's some interesting new features that you need to see. When you first get into Google Analytics, this is the information you'll see. It shows you the traffic to your website, total number of visitors, unique visitors, page views per visit, pages per visit, average time on site, bounce rate. <clears throat> this is all just really great stuff. You can come over here to the Audience tab. And if you click on it, you can get demographics, behavior, you know, new versus returning, frequency, engagement, what browsers they're using, what social media they're using, how many are coming in from mobile phones. Very useful information, but that's just some generic stuff, easy to get. Let's drive into the traffic sources. From traffic sources, you can go to the overview, um, and it will show you how much of your traffic comes from search engines, referral, direct, or Google campaigns. And you can even view what search terms were used for people coming into your report, uh, into your website. Very important information. If you're driving traffic from social media, it'll show Facebook leads, Twitter leads, YouTube leads. All your information is here. Very, very powerful. The next thing I really like about the new version is content, and it's got in-page analytics. Now, in-page analytics takes a while to load, but it actually loads your website. I'm using our Aussie Web Local Search as an example. And then it will paint up over the website the percentages, a series of percentages, which actually shows you the percentage of people that click on the navigation in your website. And in our case, we can see which categories, how many are in computers, 1%, but vehicles, 1.2. Um, this allows you to make decisions, and uh, decisions about your website and what to do based on what people are clicking on. It tells you add your new business, 18%. Very, very powerful data. It, it's simple to use. You can actually drill into a specific page and it'll show you again the data on that page as well. Another thing only available in the new version of Google Analytics version 5, if you go up here and click on the home page, you can get real-time data. Now, the real-time data, this is our uh, you can change the date range here and pick your own range or last month or whatever. Real-time data, this is showing average time on site. If I click on real-time data, click on the overview, it takes it a while to load, but it's pulling down information on your website as it currently exists. You're seeing it in real time. So our website's got 159 people on it right now. And uh, page views per minute, per second. It tells us where they're being referred from. It tells us what are the most active pages in the site, the keywords that were searched to bring people into it, the geography where those people came from. This is real-time data. Between this and the overview situation, you don't need to argue with your web developer. You can say, this is where my traffic is coming from. These are the terms they're using. These are the pages they're going to. This is where they're coming, and this is where they're leaving. Google Analytics is a must. It's only three lines of code. Your web developer should be able to put it on your website within two or three minutes. Shouldn't cost you much. The service itself is 100% free. Get your instrument cluster on your car working now so you know how your online business and reputation is working for you. I hope you find this helpful. This is Monty Hipsch, the Google Guru. We'll see you in 2012.